Brothers and sisters, Brother John, watchmen for that great day. Wow. It just it just seems like sometimes you just get flooded with things of the world, right? And they just come in on you and, and it's like who do you reach for, who do you call, who do you talk to? Well, we know who the one is that we call on and who we talk to, who lives in us and who gives us direction, who blesses us and lifts us above the problems that we are facing, issues and other things in this life. And as we get towards this end, which is definitely, without doubt, we are very close to the rapture of this church and the body. And the Lord pours out his grace in these last days, which abound with sin and uh, indifference and just the way the world is headed. The, the whole problem with darkness in the world seems like it just wants to cover and fill in. And But, but yet we have the light of God in us. And all we can do is really just stand. But we're standing on a solid rock. We're standing on a sure foundation. We're standing on something that's spoken of in the Bible as the cornerstone. The cornerstone that the builders rejected. The builders of everything of this land, of this earth, of this uh, day, have rejected Christ Jesus. But those of us who are wise have asked him to come into our lives and forgive us. And he has. And he sent his Holy Spirit. And he sealed us by that Spirit. I really don't have anything to say other than hang in there, my brothers and sisters. These days are dark. But our time is short. And the light of God that is within you, let it burn brightly. Let it, let it blaze. Let, it, let the embers, if they're just embers, blow on those embers. Let the Holy Spirit blow on those embers and ignite you. And Lord, I just ask this day for my brothers and sisters that are going through hard, horrible terrible, horrendous sicknesses, troubles, whatever my brothers and sisters are going through. I would just ask your blessing on them and your blessing on me and your blessing for all of us that are waiting patiently day by day for you to come. And Lord, I offer this prayer for my family and for those around me and for my brothers and sisters in this body. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. And I thank you, brothers and sisters, for hanging in there and watching with me. And even though I don't have a lot to say at this time, just know that I'm, I'm with you. And I hope that this little video and this prayer that I have just said will bless your day and help you through whatever issues and sicknesses or uh, financial or anything that you're going through, any problems family-wise, anything that's, that's going on inside your families, I ask that God would richly bless you this day and that he would strengthen the Holy Spirit that's in you and catch that Holy Spirit on fire. Let, let the fire of God burn out whatever might be in you that is causing you to uh, uh, drag, you know, to drag on to like, oh, another day. We know we're in the time. We know we're in the day. Let's not lose hope. Even though we know we're saved, let's not lose hope. Hope is the positive outcome of an issue, the positive outcome of a problem. So this day, when you think of, when you think of the Lord, right? When you think of the Lord today, 
think of all the brothers and sisters that might be going through similar things that you are. Because as the body, we are going through many things. And we all, when one suffers, we all suffer. So there's a lot of suffering going on in this body right now, in the body of Christ. Indifference to things and just problems, just just uh, whatever whatever it might be, divorce issues, um, sicknesses, cancers, anything that's going on in this body is is affecting this body that waits. All right, because it doesn't exclude people that are are in this a group of people just because we're waiting doesn't mean we don't suffer. And just because we come on and, and are excited about the moments that we're living in doesn't mean that it's not that it's all wonderful and great and rosy for everyone that's doing this. For the most part, most of us that are really waiting for Jesus to come and hope that he comes today in this very moment are going through things that, you, you know, without expressing them on on a video they're 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 very difficult they're life uh, altering so the prayer is from my heart and i just wish you all a blessed day and we will see what happens today there is a lot coming there's the whole thing with netanyahu's speech and what's going on with Israel and what's going on over in the war. It just, it's overwhelming. So I'm taking the break for a while, you know, backing away from, from certain things. But because God has not given me uh, uh, further messages or, or um, uh, inklings of the timing other than the, the fact that I'm waiting for whatever might happen in this day or the next few days, but we're watching. Let's just keep watching and be blessed and look up because your redemption is drawing nigh. And if you're not saved, today's the day. Today is the day to get saved. If you've watched any of my videos and you come up upon this one today, you need to know Christ Jesus as your Savior. And doing that, you've done it all. Once you've asked him to come into your life, he sends his Holy Spirit and seals you for that day of redemption, which is near. And the trumpet's going to sound, and we all hope to hear it. the heck out of here. We've had enough. It's time to go. God bless you all, brothers and sisters. Hang in there. Your brother John is hanging in there too. I love you all. God bless.